and today I will be reading aloud the part part two of the sneak peek of Max Crumley, part two. <coughs> two, a mighty meat monster mess. I just sat there on top of that stupid pizza for what seemed like forever. These three cooks were up in my face like bad breath, staring at me and giving me the evil eye. The entire fiasco was very awkward. It actually inspired me to create a rap. I was rolling through the fence one night at school on a trip out skating that was super cool. I was zooming fast, the ride was tight, but I think I kind of left when I should have got right. I tried to stop because the danger was real. I was flying through the air like I was Jack O'Neill. Crash landing on my piece of wood, no, I swear. That mighty beast monster splattered everywhere. Cut the road and choked that mustard was fine. But now I'm stuck in a place where the sun don't shine. If this scene were in one of my favorite comic books, it would be written like this. When we last left our helpless hero, he was sitting on a mighty meat monster pizza, completely surrounded by three ruthless criminals about to plot his very long and painful death. Will Max be shredded into bits like mozzarella cheese on the hard and crunchy pizza crust of doom? Will those hungry burglars still eat the pizza Max is standing on? And most important, will brilliant computer whiz Erin help Max get out of this messy situation alive? Or will her computer crash, trapping her for an eternity behind a bleak yet brutal blue screen of death? Oh no! Max! Erin, totally freaking out. Stay tuned for the riveting answers to these exciting questions and more. I know, you don't have to remind me. I totally screwed up. Again! This superhero stuff is a lot more difficult and dangerous than I thought it would be. And that's why I need to warn you. This story is going to end with my excruciating death or another mind-blowing cliffhanger. Just like a real comic book. Sorry folks, but that's just the way it is. So if this is going to make you have a meltdown, please stop reading now. For those of you who are dying to know what happens next, buckle up and get ready for a thrilling roller coaster ride. But before I get back to my story, I need to tell you some important things that I've learned so you won't make the same mistakes I did. Hey, if I can prevent you from what happened to me to happening to you or another kid, then the heat rash I got on my butt from sitting on that hot pizza was totally worth it. Max Crumley fans, I hope that you like that rap. I hope you like that sneak peek. And I encourage you to become a Dork Diaries fan club member because of all the benefits and awesome stuff that it can give you. Thanks for watching Studio B. Make sure to like this video, comment, and subscribe. And see us next time on Studio B.